Hi, my name's Rod, and I'm going to show you how to unzip a folder that is in zip format. Zip format is a special format for compressing files so you can more easily send them online. Unfortunately, if we have a folder in zip format, we can't use the contents of that folder until we unzip that folder, or the technical term is extract the files. So here on the desktop, I've got two zipped folders. I've got an action zip folder, which is basically an album, and music bundle zipped folder, which is three albums. So let's start with a single album action. To unzip this folder, I'm going to double click it. From there, I can see the contents on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, it says extract all files. I'd like you to click on extract all files. Once you do that, you get a new window that pops up called the Extraction Wizard. Go to the bottom of that window and click Next. This next screen you see is ask, basically asking you, once we unzip the folder, where would you like the contents of that folder to be put? Personally, I want them on the desktop. So I'm going to click Browse. And then in this new smaller window, I'm going to click Desktop. You can select whatever you like. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you remember where you select those files to go. I clicked on desktop. Then I go to the bottom of that window and click OK. Then I come back to the extraction wizard window and click next. Right now it's extracting the files. As you can see, the green bars going across. When it's done, I should have um, some new folders pop up on my desktop and there they are. We'll get to those later but we can certainly tell that we've extracted some files. Now this final screen of the extraction wizard window has a checkbox and next to it it says show extracted files. If you leave that box checked and you click finish, a new window will pop up with the extracted files. If you want to do it that way, go ahead. Personally, I don't like windows popping up on their own. I prefer to be the one popping them up so I know exactly where they came from. So for me, I'm going to uncheck it, come down to the bottom, and click Finish. Now, we still have this big window in the middle. It's the Action Zipped Folder window. Well, we're done unzipping it, so you can X out that folder. And now you can turn your attention to the left-hand side of the screen where we have two new folders, Mac OS X and Action. Now both of these folders came from inside this zipped action folder. Well, we're on a PC, so we don't need that Mac OS X folder. You can put that in the trash. And that leaves us with the action folder. That contains all the music files for the album action. I'm gonna drag it over to the right hand side here. I'll double click it just so you can see all the music files inside it. There they are. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to close that. Now what I'd like you to do is go into iTunes and open it up. There we go, I've opened up iTunes. On the upper left hand side of iTunes here you can see a blue bar going across music. That means music is selected and you can see all the songs in my music library. Right now there's only three. What I'd like you to do next is go to the bottom left hand corner where there's a plus sign and click on it. That creates a new playlist. A playlist is a collection of songs or media files that you choose. When you create a new playlist, it automatically calls it Untitled Playlist and it highlights the text so you can change it just by typing. I'm going to type in Action and then to deselect the text, click on the gray area right below the word Action. Excellent. So I have a new playlist called Action, highlighted in blue. I'm going to go over to the right hand side where my action folder is. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag it into iTunes. Now once it's in iTunes, there's a little plus sign by the cursor. That means iTunes is ready to accept this. I'm going to let go of my mouse button. And ta-da, all of those songs have been imported into my iTunes music library. Right now I'm in my action playlist, which just shows the action song, but if I go to my music folder, it shows the three songs I already had, plus all the songs from the action album. Now tune in for my next video, and I'll show you how to put this music on a CD, and we'll also tackle that music bundle.